Seven years and seven months you've been making every day better. Knowing you're by my side for whatever is to come is both a source of comfort and support. I love you. Aww. I'm also extremely proud of Catherine. I'm sure most of you know this, but for the last three years, Catherine has not only been a mum and working full time, but she's been studying to complete a degree in Irish language and literature. Having the convictions to follow her passion with so many other important things going on in her life is what's something that really sets her apart. It means, and it's the reason she means so much to me, but also to so many people in this room. So I would like to ask you all to be upstanding and raise a glass to, to Catherine, my beautiful new wife, who has a heart bigger and warmer than an RHI funded barn in County Fermanagh. pretty well, and they all know that she's a wee sweetheart. But she hasn't always been a sweetheart. <laughs> On your table there's an envelope. If someone would open it for me, please. <laughs> now isn't she stunning? Isn't she really angelic? Well, I think you all need to know something about Catherine. Catherine's a thief. And many years ago, when that photograph was taken, she was sent to the shop looking just like that. And her mother and I kept an eye for her out the front and out the back of the house. And we followed her. She came back around to the house and she planked the change. She stole the change and hid it under a brick at the bottom of my garden. And when she was asked about the change, she denied everything, just like a true North Belfast girl. <laughs> now you might think that that's what I'm talking about, but it's not, that's not why she's, a, why she's a thief. She's a thief because the day she was born, she stole my heart. <laughs> and now she's stolen Paul's heart. So, Without further ado, I'd like to welcome Paul to the family. I'm not sure whether I've lost something or gained something. <laughs> but, could you raise your glasses, please? And a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Murphy. Yeah. 